Okay, well, here we have the e-business organizer, and we're going to start out with uh, defining a website. You add a domain, click the plus sign, and then give the domain its name. in the URL with the HTTP and a description <clears throat> and the username and uh, I'll be back in a minute and this is uh, for cPanel information. We save that, and it's saved. Next, we'll check to see if the login to cPanel works. First, we have to select a domain. Then we'll log into cPanel. And it does work, as you can see. Okay, that's done. Uh, we can edit the settings if we'd like. If they're not correct, but they are, so that's fine. Our finances we'll cover at a later time. A briefcase. Is basically information that we want to have reference to. So we can add a file that we've already prepared. I'll just add any file here I happen to have. Uh, I will select this file right here. Add that to the briefcase. And uh, we can remove, or if it is some sort of executable file, we can run it. Next we have the added notes. We can add notes. For example, we just hit the plus sign, give it a title. And we add the note. Notes added, it comes over here for future reference. Next, we go to the to do list. We close that to do list. The to do to check to do checklist is like anything again, the plus sign. Everything is pretty much standard. Okay, I've uh, populated this with a to do item, a checklist. And we just add the to do and it goes over, goes over here for future reference. Now we've added the basic items uh, for a to work with, and we'll go on to the contacts. Contacts is basically your contact menu with name, address, phone, email address, phone number, etc. Um, nothing new there. Your calendar. Uh, you Populate. We did uh, create a post here. We can add new items here. Add an event. Uh, we've got first give it a title before we can add it so let's say that uh, uh, activate domain and uh, look for a new topic and we want this to happen on the 28th and we'll give it a full day two day period 2029 to do it we add that event um, we add the event and as you can see, it's added in here on the 28th. Next is the project manager. We're going to add a milestone. Um, next item in setting everything up is the project manager here. Uh, we set a new a milestone. That opens a dialog box. And I'll go ahead and set up our milestone. 
Okay, what I've done here, I've given it a name. Uh, there are no notes. You could add any notes you like. Uh, due to be completed by the 27th. Um, today is the 26th, so it gives a day. You specify the domain by the drop down, and once you do that, you click OK. It'll put it in the milestone. And then the next thing you have to do is uh, determine the task. First, you select the uh, the milestone, and then you uh, create a new task, and you fill out the form here. I uh, set it to research topic, to find content ideas, generate, and then we're going to start uh, on the 27th, and we're going to give that a couple of days to do it until the 29th, and. Uh, this is when it's complete you go ahead this and it shows it as a completed task so we'll say OK there and it posts it in and as you as you do things you can add any notes you want to here um, Okay, and then we'll be on to the next. Next is social power. Here's the form for that. As you can see, we've got Twitter, Facebook, and StumbleUpon. As you click each one, it'll get, ask you for logins and so forth, uh, username and password. Uh, that's for Twitter, for Facebook, Facebook login, and Stumble on the same. You fill in those forms and you'll have your uh, social power plugged into your domain. Next we have the finances. Uh, as you generate revenue you put uh, tracking links on the blogs, websites, and, uh, and shop carts and as orders are come in it will record the orders, keep track of your uh, income and expense therefore you'll know your profit and loss for the site. Of course first we have to select a site. We're working with uh, eTravel. Uh, now we're going to add an item. We, it brings us up a uh, information box to fill in. Um, the cost, anything there. Uh, this is money made or spent. You specify which it is. Uh, that's in addition to the automatic link that brings income in automatically. Again, you have items here. The total revenue generated by the action of tracking items here. Uh, ge revenue generated by the link tracking. Generated by sales tracking. And the amount of money that was made that was not automatically tracked. This is mainly input. Uh, of course, you have to input your expense. And then this gives you the bottom line. Plus or minus tells you whether you're making money or not on that site. Next is the tracking setup. Here you set up your action tracking, your link tracking, and your sales tracking. Action tracking, that's income from action, income from links, income from sales. Three sources of income are tracked automatically. And on the previous finance section, it'll show you the, the totals. All done automatically. Okay, we're going to uh, check out the RSS feed. We go to manage feeds and we put a URL here uh, and it's got to be a valid URL otherwise it will not save it. I've uh, pasted the URL in the field and added it and it's already in the database as you can see it's here so it does not allow a dupe and then I save it and I'm done with the RSS feed I've gone through all the items from my websites now to RSS feeds and now we go to the overview which is the final check it shows us all the stats we have two domains and you can um, see what else we have here. Of course, we have no money yet because that has to 
be a matter of action and sales and so forth. So there you have it. That's a brief overview. Uh, you can call uh, email David Porter with any support questions you have and he'll respond to you within 24 hours and thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.